Hey guys, Pax That Slap, back with a new PSA reveal. Today I've got a 29 card order to reveal, a mix with a lot of PC cards in it. So yes, you're gonna see a big Serbian basketball player quite a few times in here. Also a decent amount of, of cards that I'll look to sell on my eBay store as well. Kind of try to pay for the order with those cards and um, PC the rest of them. Uh, this order was at the value bulk $19 level, and I will say that that value bulk turnaround time has doubled, if not more, since I first started grading back in December. Um, this order arrived, I believe, mid-August, August 14th or so, and just got back to me on October 12th, so looking at around a almost a nine-week turnaround there. And I was getting kind of used to those three to four week turnaround times earlier in the year, but I know PSA has got a lot going on. They've got other grading specials that they were doing. Um, I know they take some time to go to the national and grade some cards there and some other card shows as well as the football special, which football has been hot as of late. So I'm sure a lot of people submitted tons of cards at that $15 um, football special, but without further ado, let's get into the reveal. Came back in two boxes here, and we'll start with this this first stack. So first up, we have an optic orange of Peyton Watson. He's a up and coming rookie on your champion Denver Nuggets basketball team. This one got a PSA nine, a bit off center from the other rookies that I've seen. This optic set. The centering on it's kind of weird because I think the the rookies already start a little bit to the right, but I was seeing you know how far to the right they would go before giving one of these a a mint nine, and it looks like that's the threshold there. So we'll start the nine stack early. Next up, we've got same card except this is the purple signature on card auto of Peyton Watson. This one did get the PSA ten. Um, these purple on-card autos, I believe, come out of retail, which is pretty cool that you can get, you know, on-card optic autos out of retail. Um, bought this on the secondary market, looked really clean, decided to send it in and got that PSA 10. These are non-numbered, but excited with that one for the PC. We'll see how um, he continues to progress with the Nuggets. Next up, we have just your base Brandon Ingram um, optic, 2016 first-year optic Rookie, this one got the 10. Next one up, opened up a bit of these um, Prism Fast Break boxes with some friends and my brother. Um, looked at a few of the cards, a few of the numbered cards to send in. Um, this one looked clean and uh, this is Halliburton. This is the blue Fast Break. Blue out of 150. Uh, nice, nice number there out of 150. Happy with the 10 there. This next one um, is at a Prism Monopoly. So my brother bought a bunch of Prism Monopoly parallels of the Serbian big man here. Um, a lot of them looked really clean, so decided to send send a lot in. Here we got the red at a 99, got the 10. Same card here, but in the white sparkle parallel. Not sure how rare these white sparkles are because they're not numbered, but this one looks super nice with that color color match on the jersey there. Um, this one got the 10 as well. Beautiful card. Same card. Um, running money, running Mr. Monopoly um, parallel here. Again, non-numbered, but shorter printed. Looks nice with that, that white jersey as well. PSA 10. And then we got the light blue version, doing well on these Monopoly cards. You know, these ones looked looked real centered up and everything else looked clean on them. So not much to say there. The light blue is at a 199. This next card up, I got in a trade. Um, I figured with some of these corners here looking a little bit rounded that it would bump it down to a nine. Um, but this is Crown Royale. Asia Gold out of 10. It's the bookend 10 out of 10. I was hoping to get the 10, 10, 10, but um, you know, hard to grade these, these die cut Crown Royale. So 
we'll, we'll settle for a nine on the PC there for the Nuggets. Jamal's hopefully set to have a big year. He's hasn't made an all-star game before, and I don't think he's made an all-NBA team, so he still has got a lot to prove. I don't know how focused this guy is, but I know Jamal is locked in. He's got a lot to prove still in the league. Um, this next one up is uh, Optic Fast Break. Jalen Williams, not sure what I missed here. I'll have to look closer, but this did get an eight, unfortunately. So that's hope, <laughs> maybe make the, the grading feedback. We'll see. Um, next one up, we got one more of those red uh, Jokic's out of Monopoly Prison. This one got the 10 as well. So gemmed all the Monopoly Prism Jokic, which was super nice. Next one up, we got another <laughs> Jalen Williams. Unfortunately, got another 8 on the auto. So went over 2 um, from even getting 9s on the, on the Jalen Williams. Wrong, Jalen, if you're keeping score. Um, yeah, not sure what I missed on that one, too. This one looks a little bit off-center. Looks pretty thin on this uh, right side here, so that's probably what knocked it down one grade, and then they must have seen something else as well. Next one up is for the PC. I knew this one would probably get a nine. Um, this is just your Christian Braun rookie yearbook auto out of um, Donruss Elite. I think I noticed a little bit of white on that back right corner there. You can kind of see it there. So knew this one would probably get a nine, but again, um, up and coming player for the Nuggets. Excited about the team this year, hoping for a repeat. Um, decided to get it graded for the PC. And we had another one, um, free parking, another PSA 10. My brother's gonna be pretty happy with uh, my card screening on his cards there. So congrats to you. This next one up looked really clean to me. Um, as I said, I opened up a little bit of Prism Fast Break and um, hit this giddy red. This red is at a 75. Thought it looked really clean. It looked pretty centered up to me. Uh, so not sure what the nine, where the nine came from. Maybe there's a, a print line that I might've missed. Um, these Fast Break parallels tend to have print lines with that, um, with the disco looking parallel on them, but unfortunately got the nine in. So let's break into the second stack. Next card up is out of one of my favorite sets this year, Court Kings. Um, this is the Jalen Williams, the other Jalen Williams, um, level three rookie. Super nice looking card. Um, it's got that canvas feel on the front. And I bought this raw off of eBay, looked really clean, sent it in, got the 10. Next one up, I actually, I think I got this one for free. Someone just gave it to me, um, or a breaker gave it to me just to throw in some extra cards. Uh, looked really clean, sent it in, got the 10 on the turbocharged at a select. This is the red parallel, not numbered at a retail, um, but nice looking card with a jersey. Jersey color match on the red and blue, so look clean, sent it in. Now we've got a nice card coming up. Again, Serbian big man. This is just the rated rookie out of Donruss. This one, I honestly did not think would get a 10 just based on centering. Like it was it was close to that 60-40, I would say, on the centering, which I know PSA does allow up to 60-40 on a 10. I think I was pushing the envelope a bit here on this one, but did end up getting the 10. So super happy, super happy on that one. Uh, one thing I will say, I think uh, it's on the other one. Um, next card up, you just saw it, but we got the 10 again on the Donruss rated rookie for Jokic. So two really nice cards there. Um, those go for, for decent money. These are both I've opened packs with my brother to get both of these ones as well. So we just opened those those old Donruss fat packs. Um, we opened them quite a bit ago. It took us a little bit to grade these ones just because these ones didn't look as clean as one of the ones you got out of the packs. Um, centering, they look off-center in opposite directions a little bit, but, you know, it must have been enough for PSA standards to, 
to still get the 10. And I thought we were done, but we have another one. This is the orange out of Monopoly Prism um, out of 124. Still batting a, batting a thousand on those Monopoly Prism Jokic's for this order. Back to Prism Fast Break. Uh, Jaden Hardy Blue, again, blue first on the print out of 150. Got the PSA 9 here. Maybe a touch off center left to right. Kind of looks like it's the card is kind of shifted a little bit, so maybe that's what brought it down a little bit. Because I thought the thought the centering was close enough for a ten, but ended up getting the nine here. Again, blue out of one fifty fast break. We got Rui Hachimura here. Um, this one did get the ten. Does look more centered up than that that Hardy. So. And then this is out of Optic. This is the blue Kawhi Leonard. I just thought this one looked uh, really nice on the color match on that blue Clippers jersey. Blue Optic out of 49, jersey number out of 49. So nice card there. Um, that'll go to a nice collector. And then this is out of Optic Fast Break. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, this is the blue as well out of 49, six out of 49, um, got the 10. This next card here, I hit out of a boom box, which was pretty rare since I only got one pack of optic in that boom box and ended up having a black Pandora auto, rookie auto in it, which you would jump for joy in most instances when you got a black Pandora rookie auto. Unfortunately, it was EJ Liddell, which I don't know much about, EJ Liddell, whether he's going to be in the rotation or if he's progressing well on the team, but th those black Pandora autos on card out of optic just looks so nice. And he's actually got a really nice signature as well. So unfortunately got the nine, but uh, that'll go to a good Pelicans collector. Next card I would not have sent if I thought it was going to get a, a nine. This one looked very centered up to me. Um, Maybe a touch bottom heavy, but this is just your um, standard Curry Hollow out of this year's Optic. Ended up getting the nine, unfortunately. This next card, uh, you've probably seen, if you watched any of my channel, you've seen me grade and open quite a bit of status. Um, opened a little bit of status with some friends and my brother. Um, same opening with the, the Prism Fast Break. I'm trying to get more away from opening wax and you know, buying cards either raw or, or graded online, cards that I actually like. So just had a little bit of this still hanging around and decided to open it with some friends and got the 10. I've done that one quite a bit. Next card is out of Fast Break. Um, yeah, Prism Fast Break. This is the Tari Eason, just your Fast Break standard auto. Um, ended up getting the nine on this one. Um, centering is a little tough to tell this way or this way, top top to bottom, I guess, if it's a horizontal card, um, just because that fat the bottom part's much fatter and there's not real not a real indicator down there. But um, not sure what they saw here, got, but they uh, got the nine there. And then last card is out of 2021 Spectra Tima. This was. Uh, just the LeBron Asia parallel looks super clean. It's a thicker card, so I know it's harder to grade with PSA, but uh, decided to send it in because it did look clean. And we're going to end there on a 10. So overall, good order. I think I got had like a 66% gem rate. So happy with this one overall. Did get those two eights, unfortunately, but uh, the stack over here more than more than makes up for it. So excited with this order. Thanks again for watching i've got another order that i just got back from beckett which will be in my next my my next uh, reveal video i did pay for the subgrades so it'll be fun to you know look at each of those subgrades and see what the flaws and the cards were or see what went well what didn't go well but excited for that one as well so stay tuned and thanks for stopping by